of the week, our best players of the week, Rodney Peel, will come down front, please, sir. The amount of basketball talent in our state is absolutely incredible. Our Our Best Girls Player of the Week this week is Jamie Robbins from Little Rock Central High School. She is a senior 5'7 point guard, averaging 10 points a game, 3 steals and 3 assists. Highlights, honors, awards and recognitions. She is signed with Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, who's playing, and the Lady Indians are playing, well, excuse me, are playing really, really well. Two years, 7A all-conference selection, honor roll student every semester, has a 4-point G. PA. <laughs> Two years, Arvis Outstanding Player Selection, 2013 McDonald's, excuse me, McDonald's All-American Game nominee, Jamie Ruffins. <laughs> Terry Harvick is now our own Dick Vitale, I want you to know that. Uh, Terry's been out evaluating basketball talent. And I haven't seen North Rock play, and I know, Coach, I know y'all are dynamite, and I'm going to get it, and I'm going to come out and watch you play. Terry told me this young man right here is off the charts, <coughs> and so did Ron Crawford. Key Bone Allen is our Our Best Boys Player of the Week, 6'3", sophomore guard. He's averaging 18 points, 3.6 assists, 5.8 rebounds. He was a co-MVP of the Jam into Jackets Tournament, All-Tournament in the Coke Classic, Ranked number 26 by ESPN in the sophomore class in America. Ranked number 21 by Future 150. Only ninth grader in the country invited to the annual Franchise Classic in New York City last year. He's received scholarship offers. He's a sophomore. Scholarship offers from Arkansas, Tennessee, Florida, Yukon, Baylor, Memphis, Mississippi State, Louisville. I don't know where the rest of the guys are, but they should be offering too. But... <laughs> Kevon Allen, our Player of the Week. <laughs> and no Dennis. His mom, his dad, his brothers, <coughs> that family, most definitely, uh, probably the most notable uh, athletic family the state's ever produced. Uh, his dad played for, had the pleasure of playing for not only Hank Iva, but Henry Ruff, excuse me, uh, Hank Iva and Adolph Ruff at Kentucky. And so not many people get a chance to do that. But anyway, as, as Roland alluded to in the indication is that uh, Dennis's family has a uh, impacted a lot of us in the, in the world of athletics over the years, and we're delighted to have him today. Just a little background on, on uh, Coach Nutt. Uh, played three seasons for the Dallas Mavericks, uh, one of the greatest shooters to ever come out of our state. Uh, he was all, made the all-time Southwest Conference team. He's in the TCU Hall of Fame. He's a former head coach at Texas State. He's been an assistant coach at Arkansas State, uh, Texas A&M, several other places. He is currently the head coach at Washtenaw Baptist University, and we are thrilled to death to have him with us today.
amazing guy. They just honored him over at the deaf school. They named the court after him. It was a, it was a great deal, great name. My mom was able to get there. We had a game, so unfortunately I couldn't make it. But uh, like some of these uh, fine gentlemen said, talk about our family, mom and dad. You know, we grew up on that campus and uh, very fortunate to have them in our lives. And uh, three older brothers. I had it, I had it good. I mean, there was two on two games, daylight to dark. I'm talking competitive, competitive games, or until a fight broke out. I mean, we'd go all day. 